The Inspiring Journey of Buster Keaton Buster Keaton, born Joseph Frank Keaton on October 4, 1895, in Pickway, Kansas, emerged as one of the most iconic figures in the history of silent film comedy. His journey began in an unconventional setting, he was raised in a vaudeville family where his parents performed in comedy acts. By the age of three, Keaton had joined the act, performing slapstick routines that often involved him being thrown around on stage. These early experiences shaped his physical comedy skills, and he quickly became known for his remarkable ability to perform dangerous stunts without injury. It was also during these early years that he developed his signature, stone-faced, expression, a blank look that contrasted sharply with the chaotic situations unfolding around him, making the comedy even more effective. Keaton's transition from vaudeville to film came in 1917 when he was introduced to the film industry by comedian Roscoe, Fatty, Arbuckle. He quickly fell in love with the art of filmmaking and began appearing in short comedies, where his natural talent for physical humor and innovative stunts stood out. His unique style, which combined elements of danger, precision, and deadpan delivery, set him apart from his contemporaries, like Charlie Chaplin and Harold Lloyd. Keaton soon became known as the Great Stone Face, for his ability to maintain a straight face while executing some of the most challenging and hazardous stunts in film history. In the 1920s, Keaton reached the height of his career as he ventured into directing and producing his own films. He was a visionary filmmaker who took creative risks that others might have avoided, often using cutting-edge techniques and elaborate special effects to enhance the humor and excitement of his movies. Some of his most memorable films from this era include Sherlock Jr., 1924, where he played a projectionist who dreams himself into a movie, and Steamboat Bill Jr., 1928, which featured the famous scene of a house facade falling around him, narrowly missing him thanks to a strategically placed open window. These films showcased not only Keaton's comedic talents but also his skills as a director who could blend storytelling with visual spectacle. Keaton's most celebrated work, however, came with The General, 1926, a film he co-wrote, co-directed, and starred in. Set during the American Civil War, it tells the story of a train engineer who goes to extraordinary lengths to recover his beloved locomotive after it is stolen by Union soldiers. The film is filled with impressive stunts and elaborate set pieces, including a sequence where a train crashes off a burning bridge into a river, a shot that was the most expensive of its time. Despite its brilliance, the general did not perform well at the box office initially, leading to financial setbacks for Keaton. However, it was later recognized as one of the greatest films ever made, celebrated for its technical innovation, humor, and daring stunts. The advent of sound films in the late 1920s posed a challenge for many silent film stars, including Keaton. His transition into the talkies era was difficult and after losing creative control over his films when he signed with MGM, his career began to decline. The rigid studio system did not suit Keaton's independent and improvisational style, and he struggled with alcoholism during this period. Yet, despite these hardships, Keaton continued to work in film and television, often in smaller roles and cameos. A resurgence in interest in Keaton's work came in the 1950s when film historians and fans began to recognize the timeless quality of his silent films. Keaton experienced a revival, making appearances on television and even receiving an honorary Academy Award in 1960 for his lifetime contributions to the film industry. His films were rediscovered by new generations, and he became acknowledged as a true pioneer of cinematic comedy whose work laid the foundation for many comedic techniques still used today. Buster Keaton's story is one of resilience and dedication to his craft. Despite facing setbacks and changing fortunes, he never abandoned his love for performing and filmmaking. His legacy endures as one of the great comedic geniuses, whose fearless stunts and innovative storytelling continue to inspire filmmakers and entertain audiences around the world.